Welcome to I Just Watched, I'm Joseph. We're about to check out the Echo trailer, the official continuation to her story that started in Hawkeye. I'm intrigued to bits of it. I was never a huge fan of her character. I think there's parts of her that are dope. However, I do think that Hawkeye is one of the best series that they've been able to drop. So with that being said, I'm kind of interested in this. I do have some thoughts, but let's just check it out. We can discuss after. I see everything that you are. I always Beat have. It yeah. See that right there? Respect. I knew, or we knew, I should say, he survived. So first things first, without question, I know my favorite part about this, it's gonna be her backstory, her cultural story, because those bits we got in this trailer look phenomenal. I'm excited just to learn about like the character's culture, their traditions, their warrior types, and that build. I love that aspect of it. I think every Marvel show that's dropped, when they dive into the family or the culture, they've done a really good job of presenting that and bringing that to life, because that's been my favorite bits. And I say that because, example, Miss Marvel, I couldn't stand her Miss Marvel parts when it came to the hero, the growth of the MCU. However, the family dynamic in that show was phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. That's why, without question, I know I'm gonna love that part of the show. Definitely getting some dark and eerie vibes. When dude just shot him in the head real quick, I was like, oh, who did this? This is not Marvel no more. It's not Disney Marvel. I had to, I had to pause it for a segment. I said, wait a minute. So my biggest nitpick, and I've said it before, it's Fisk. It's how they're presenting Fisk. I think D'Onofrio's a great actor, and I think he's bringing him to life almost perfectly. And I say almost because he still doesn't have, even though you can see here, there's like a bit of a prosthetic added to him to kind of make him look a little bit wider, slightly larger. That's what I wanted, but on a bigger frame. I'm talking like Hagrid, all right? I want Fisk to be six, seven and this stupid wide body just muscular frame this dude's all muscle that's his thing he's not super powered by any means he's just super dense and his muscular build is crazy which makes him strong as fuck let's be honest so that aspect of him is cool but i always liked his character although you take away yes the fact that he's strong as shenanigans is that just immediate he walks into a room he's this massive bodybuilder giant infringing terrifying figure you kind of always do this to him and when he's standing next to a little girl, you can see it in the trailer, his back and stuff. I was like, cool. But I just wanted it a little bit bigger, a little bit more grander. So when everyone's grown up and he's talking to all their adults, you still have this bit of a situation where they're like, yes, Mr. Fisk versus yes, Mr. Fisk. That's my biggest thing. They could have haggarded him in that sense of making him just a little bit larger ratio wise. So that way D'Onofrio can kill it with his acting chops and you get that more intimidating figure. That being said, I want to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. I love chatting with y'all. Let me know down below. How do you feel about the show? What's your favorite announced show that's coming out soon? Let me know. I love hearing from y'all. But until next time, stay safe, be well. Con mucho amor. Adios.